Eye safety only takes a second and lasts a lifetime. What will your future look like? Can you see yourself with a rewarding career and an exciting life? Each of us is given one pair of eyes to last us a lifetime, and it only takes one second to protect them. So why doesn't everyone? You aren't doing anything really dangerous. You can just close your eyes when you need to. You don't want to look stupid. You'll be done in a second. Just like eye safety, a poor decision only takes a second and lasts a lifetime. Any eye protection is better than none. But did you know that there is specific protection for different activities? Protection that works for one activity may not be adequate for another. The purpose of this video is to show how important it is to use eye protection and how to select the right protection for the various activities in the technical vocational labs. More importantly, we want everyone to remember that eye safety only takes a second and lasts a lifetime. The best way to help you remember which eye protection to wear is to look at the types of injuries you could suffer. Let's look at impact injuries first. There are a lot of different hazards to your eyes in technical vocational labs. Many of these involve impact injuries caused by sharp flying objects which can cut or puncture the surface of your eye. Activities like grinding, cutting, or working with any kind of power tool require eye protection. Look at this picture of an injured eye. The cornea, or clear window that you see through, was lacerated by a flying object. Impact injuries can also include blunt objects, which impact the eye socket and damage the surface and structures in the back of the eye. Here's a picture of an eye that received a blunt force injury. The bleeding into the corneal tissue that you see can cause cloudy vision. Those are some pretty gruesome pictures. Just imagine if that was your eye. Protection from impact injuries is as simple as wearing face shields, safety glasses, goggles, or sports goggles. These can also help keep harmful dust out of your eyes. Remember, eye safety only takes a second and lasts a lifetime. Impact eye injuries can occur during any activity involving flying or sharp objects that you take part in or even observe. This is a picture of an eye that was damaged by one kid tossing a pencil to another. That's how easily it can happen. It only takes a second and lasts a lifetime. Another kind of eye injury can be caused by chemicals from hair dyes to antifreeze. Think about all the chemicals we work with in labs. Chemicals can splash into your eye and cause burns. Fumes emitted by chemicals are also harmful to your eyes. Here's an eye that was burned by a chemical. Injuries like these can take time to heal. This one is over six weeks old. And what if you lose your sight permanently? It will affect you for the rest of your life. Job prospects, your driving privileges, the way you do everything will be affected. The best protection against chemical eye injuries is a face shield and cover goggles like these. They protect from the front and the side to prevent a splash from reaching your eyes. Remember, it only takes a second to be stupid or safe, and that decision lasts a lifetime. A chemical eye injury can be devastating and painful, but just imagine what it would be like to be burnt in the eye. Now there's something no one wants to suffer. In addition to impacting chemical injuries, heat eye injuries can cause severe damage to your vision. Some of our lab activities involve working with hot metals and other things at high temperatures. Without proper protection, heat eye injuries are a serious risk. Look at this picture of an eye that has been damaged by a heat-related injury. Man, that looks like it hurts. Potential heat eye injuries are numerous. From the obvious hazards, like those in the automotive and materials joining labs, to the not so obvious, like sizzling hot liquids in the culinary lab. The best protection against heat eye injuries is a face shield and safety spectacles like these. Like the cover goggles used to protect against chemical injuries, they protect from the front and the side to prevent a spark or splash from reaching your eyes. So far, we've looked at protection from hazards that are fairly obvious, like impact, chemicals, and heat. Another not-so-obvious eye injury hazard comes from light. Light eye injuries are generally not as quick to show the damage, but can be just as dangerous to your eyesight in the long run. The most obvious of this type of hazard is in the materials joining or automotive labs. Here, the bright light of a welding torch can damage the naked eye. In order to protect your sight from this, a specially designed mask is used to block the optical radiation that would severely damage your sight. Keep in mind this is not the same as wearing sunglasses. 
These face shields have specially designed filters built in, which will be identified or marked so you know you're protected. But what about the less obvious light eye injuries? Any activity that has you outside in the sun for extended periods of time exposes your eyes to ultraviolet light. This includes many of our labs like landscaping or construction. Long-term effects of exposure to ultraviolet light can result in a number of conditions. This picture shows a cataract which results in a loss of vision. Light entering the eye can no longer pass through the lens and is reflected back out. Long-term, unprotected exposure to ultraviolet radiation is a cause of cataract formation. Cataracts generally take a long time to form, but can also be caused by trauma. Maximum UV protection sunglasses filter the ultraviolet light and provide the best defense. If you're going to be working outside, your future's so bright, you gotta wear shades. But what if you're inside looking at a computer or video screen like in many of the labs? There is yet another little known hazard that can lead to hazy vision and trouble driving at night. Extended time spent looking at a computer or video screen or exposing your eyes to glare can give you headaches and affect your vision. There are filters that can be used if you are at risk. This is not as dangerous as the other things we've discussed, but it's something to keep in mind. So by now, you know what we mean when we say eye safety only takes a second and lasts a lifetime. You know the four main kinds of eye injuries. Impact injuries, caused by flying or moving objects, even dust. Chemical injuries, that can result from splashes or fumes. Heat injuries, from working around heat, sparks, or flames. And light injuries, from exposure to infrared and ultraviolet optical radiation. You also know the proper protection for each of these. Impact injuries can be prevented by using face shields, safety glasses, goggles, or sports goggles. Chemical injuries can be prevented by using face shields or hover goggles. Heat injuries can be prevented by using face shields or safety glasses. Light injuries can be prevented by using sunglasses or filters. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure that your mask or goggles are adjusted to fit you correctly. You wouldn't try to run with your shoes untied, would you? Improper fit can give you a false sense of security. So what about those reasons we gave at the beginning of this video for not wearing eye protection? You aren't doing anything really dangerous. It doesn't take much, like a tossed pencil or frying bacon. You lose your sight or suffer a painful injury. You can just close your eyes when you need to. Many of your daily activities create flying objects that travel much faster than the blink of an eye. There are also dust and fumes that you cannot see. You don't want to look stupid. The only person who looks stupid is someone who knowingly decides not to wear eye protection. Now that you know better, be smart and show it. You'll be done in a second. Stupid only takes a second, and it could cost you your sight for the rest of your life. Remember, eye safety only takes a second and lasts a lifetime.